Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This should be a fun one. Samal Tao is one of my favorite tracks from Dimash. I play it regularly, and I play it regularly for guests, too. I just think there's there's awe. I think that's the best word, awe, to this track. It's just bigger. It's bigger than just a song. I, I love it. Anyway, there you go. There's a, I'm just I'm letting you guys know I like this track. The one I react to is earlier than this. It's in uh, Tokyo. And you guys wrote in the comments, dude, the one from 2021 is better. Or you guys said, I like it better. That's a big difference, actually. I like it better, something different. So I've been eager to check it out. And we're going to do that today. I have not seen this version, this performance. I love in the Tokyo one, it's just in a little room. It's just three guys doing what they do best. It's really cool. I like how Dimash's eyes are closed. There's just so much focus. There's like this zen feel to it. I love it. <laughs> With all that being said, I hope I love this one just as much. Let's jump into this together. Let's all find out. The song's awesome. Let's do this. Sing 
it down together I love the hurricane effect that was super neat uh, so that's the production aspect of it I thought the mountains in the back looked good all the smoke was really cool uh, if you guys noticed one of the one of the guys playing one of those instruments was sitting on a a moving case uh, a, a suitcase <laughs> It's early in the morning here, it was a suitcase, which I thought was nice rather than just a stool, you know, a drum stool or whatever. I thought that was kind of a nice little touch. Does it need the piano? So in the other track, the Tokyo performance, it's just the three of those, them there, guys. <laughs> and there is no piano. It has a definitely different ear to it without that piano. Does it complement it or not? I don't have an answer for that. It's a different performance is my thought. This is playing to a stage, so it has a, a sound that's to the masses, you know, it's big. Whereas the other one's very intimate, small. Now to overcome that, Dimash is sitting in the same pose he sat in the Tokyo version. It gives you that intimacy. We're in this together, I'm sitting down. You know, if you're standing up, you could be ready to fight. If you're sitting down, you let down your defenses. So Dimash's defenses are down, and it gives you that, uh, I think, that, that feel of we're all here to hang, we're friends, that kind of vibe. So I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but that's totally where I'm coming from with it all. Do I like it better? That's the big question. It's really great performance. I'm going to go on this one that both of them have wonderful qualities. I'm very glad I watched the Tokyo performance first because it made me really start to love the track. This one I would have liked as much as a lot of other Dimash's tracks, but the other one made me love it as one of the top few. And so I don't know what that says, but it says something. So. I could listen to this again. I probably will listen to this again. I just love this song. It's so very, very cool. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoy both versions as much as I do and Dimash as much as I do too. Guy's really cool, man. He's a tour de force. He's a really awesome talent. At the end of the day, it's just fun to watch him, you know? It's really good. So, anyway, thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, 
While you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.